When Taria Pitt was trapped in a raging bushfire and suffered horrific burns six years ago, she fought an incredible battle just to survive. By coming so close to death, she learnt how precious life is and how important it is to live it. Her recovery, often painful and slow, continues even today. But it hasn't stopped Taria walking the Kokoda track, cycling across Australia and competing in Ironwoman events. A few weeks ago, she was also about to climb to Everest Base Camp in Nepal, but for one of the few times in her life, was stopped by what's turned out to be her greatest challenge of all. It's late afternoon in Mollymook on the south coast of New South Wales. And Taria Pitt is out catching waves with her fiance, Michael Hoskin. Nothing should amaze us anymore when it comes to this 29-year-old. But what she's now about to face will test her. You just had to pull out of climbing Mount Everest. Yes. What happened? <laughs> Do I just say I'm pregnant? Yeah. <laughs> That's a, what a great way of breaking the news. <laughs> yeah. You're having a baby. We're having a baby. a baby. Wow. That's big news. We're stoked. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. We can't, like... We, we couldn't be happier. Taria told me the other day that she's the happiest she's ever been in her life. The couple found out they were expecting just three days before Taria was due to leave for a trek to Mount Everest Base Camp. Let's just say she was surprised. What was your reaction when that first test came back as positive? Like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a very honest response. Yeah, I was like, like, oh. And then I was like, okay, stay calm, go fold your clothes and put them away. How did you tell Michael the news? He was brushing his teeth and I just walked in and I left the um, pregnancy stick there. So I had a mouthful of toothpaste still wiping. I couldn't really say much. <laughs> But I knew what was going on and I was just, I was like, wow, I can't believe already. In true Taria style, she still went to Nepal to support her team and fundraise for Interplast, a medical charity that helps burn survivors like herself. But decided the 12 day trek was too risky. I, I wanted to do the walk and then I thought about it and I thought, you know, I'm not, it's not just myself I have to think about. Taria has never been one to shy away from adventure. In 2011, she entered the Kimberley Ultra Marathon as a fit young woman, but was trapped by a raging bushfire that ripped through the outback course. And I remember just screaming for help, um, but no one came. And then I realised that. No one was coming to help. And I sort of just shut up after that. Yeah. Taria suffered burns to 65% of her body. Her recovery was simply miraculous. Go, 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 come on, push, push. I know it's strong go, as a lion, soft as the cops and the lion. Times we got hot like an iron. And cheering Taria on every day has been her devoted fiance, Michael. But if she can walk in agony, you know, and take the, do all the physio that they're asking her, I can be there all the time. That's easy for me. When I was in hospital and I was told that I'd, ha I'd have to readjust my expectations in life and I'd have to say goodbye to the physical life I had, I found that really infuriating, especially being someone who was always such a overachiever. I wanted to say, you know, like, I'm back, I'm fitter than I was in the fire, and... I guess that's why I went on that kind of crazy journey. And it's about to get even crazier when the baby arrives in early December. We're sailing! High five, partner. Despite being burnt to the bone, Taria suffered no internal injuries. And her obstetrician is confident that she'll have no trouble carrying or delivering the baby. Seeing the first heartbeat, you're like, wow, like this is real. Like there's a little 
baby or something inside your belly. So that was fascinating. Oh, that blew me away. And friends used to show us their uh, ultrasound photos. I'd be like, oh, yeah, that's cool. It kind of just looks like a blob with like little <laughs> arms and legs. But, yeah, it's really cool. But then when we saw ours, I was like, oh, my God, <laughs> look at its arms and legs. Oh. There's no sign of a bump yet. Taria's only 15 weeks along, but already she's finding her normal activities a little tougher. You know, when pregnant ladies say how tired they are, I kind of thought, oh, like, you know, I know you're tired, but you're just going to have to soldier on and, and buck up. But, yes, yeah, it's, it's indescribable. Has Michael been looking after you? I've been waiting on a hand and foot. Radio. Yes. Radio. <laughs> she's been throwing everything at me, haven't you? I reckon he's had the hot story more now that I'm carrying. That you're pregnant. Well, because I'm carrying your child. Yeah, I suppose. That, yeah, you feel a bit different. You've got yeah. a responsibility now as well. Mm. And I feel the same with Michael. I find it really, like, attractive. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll see a whole new side to Michael when you have a baby mm. in the house. Oh, I know 100% Michael's going to be an amazing dad because he, you know, he had to look after me for years and he was so patient, so caring. And I think those qualities, especially in uh, a parent, are really desirable. It's not for us. Okay. Okay. Just a crazy mum. <laughs> <laughs> no, Therese's <laughs> mum, Celestine, is possibly more oh, excited than the couple you. about the impending arrival of her first you. grandchild. And I've been talking every day to my little Motua. This is a, uh, the word for grandchild, Motua and I'm a metua, and even reading, Dr Zeus, I'm already reading. You're already reading to mm -hmm. the... Oh, yeah. well, yeah. there you go. You've got six more months of this. I know, <laughs> lucky me. No, I'm really grateful to have such a cool mum. Oh. It's really awesome to share this journey with her. Yeah, you can just relax. If Michael has been yeah. to Rhea's rock, Celestine is the eternally optimistic spiritual healer who helped nurse her daughter back to life. Have you been dropping hints that you wanted grandchildren? Yes. Since five years ago. Mm. And I love children. Look, children, my She does love children. And Friend. look, I mean, and you almost lost yours. That's what I mean, Ali. Has my daughter passed away, this will not be happening. We will not be talking here right now. And that's why I'm grateful and I'm so honoured that you're sharing this with the, the country. By any measure, Taria Pitt should not even be alive today. It's testament to her strength and Michael's enduring love that she's here. And no couple is more deserving of a healthy baby than these two. Everyone said to me it's the hardest thing you'll ever do, but I mean, I get the feeling that this won't be the hardest thing you've ever done. I agree, I don't think it will be, yeah. Because we've been through something pretty traumatic and I mean, we're past that stage now, but, and you forget how hard that was, so I reckon this will be more fun. And it just makes me really stoked that I'm still here. Yeah. Because I, I get to experience this. To be a mother. You know, not, and not, not every woman in the world gets to experience this. And I'm still here and I get to do this journey with my, my best friend and my, you know, my partner. <laughs> and I just think, how cool is that that I get to do that? Yeah. She's going to be amazing, isn't she? Yeah, she'll be fine. She'll be a great mum. That'll be fine. Better than fine, mate. Uh, when does she do anything that's just fine? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it'll give me a rest as well. She'll put all the love into the baby oh, and I'll be oh. on the outside. You'll still get plain, Dal. <laughs> Don't you worry.